Yo guys, what's up? It's Jerome here, and today we're going to be talking about my six favorite passive gold makers. I've been really busy leveling my hardcore priest lately, and I haven't had as much time to play as I'd like. So I've had to rely on some of my favorite passive gold makers to make gold every single day. These are gold makers that you can either do up front by farming the materials in advance, or things that you can just do in a few minutes every single day. At number six, we have pre-farm daily quests. So every single time I'm streaming, people come in and they ask about why I have so much lumber in my bags, and no, it's not some weird new region that I'm using on my druid. I actually just pre-farmed the Jack Me Some Lumber quest a few weeks ago. The effective gold per hour while I was farming that quest was over 1800 per hour. If you're not familiar with the Jack Me Some Lumber quest, you turn in 12 lumber to get 21 gold. Since I can farm over 1100 lumber per hour in my druid, that's over 1800 gold per hour in effective gold. Then I just have to log in every day and remember to turn in the quest. I also pre-farmed both the Jousting quests. The Grand Melee and the Among the Champions quest combined for 44 gold in profit per day. Plus you'll get a Valiant Seal and up to two Champion Seals as well. The only annoying thing about pre-farming these quests is that it will fill up your mailbox with a bunch of very annoying junk. At number 5, we have Passive Profit from the Trade Skill Master desktop app. A lot of the best gold makers in the game use the Trade Skill Master add-on to find good deals, but a couple months ago a lot of my favorite features like the Vendor Search and the Disenchant Search just stopped working. That's because Blizzard was dealing with a lot of server issues and they didn't want people to spam the auction house scanning over and over again. But I actually have some really good news. There's a way to get both the Vendor Search and the Disenchant Search back. If you download the Trade Skill Master app, you're actually magically able to do the Disenchant Search and Vendor Searches again. But the best part is so few people know about this that it's actually really easy to make profit now. Every single time that I do a Disenchant Search, I make maybe 50 to 100 gold just passively. And that leads into my number 3 favorite passive gold maker, Profitable Vendor Flips. Even after all this time, I still love flipping Netherweave Cloth into heavy Netherweave bandages. I keep a little bit of Netherweave Cloth on hand every day so I can put in a low price cloth to make some profit. One of the ways I like to accelerate this method is by using a bait cloth. By putting in a nether weave cloth at say 12 silver every day, I'm able to accumulate a lot of cloth below that price. Then while I'm watching a Twitch stream or making a video, I can just be making the cloth passively. I also like to do the same thing with Rag Veil for Mad Alchemist potions and Jaggle Pearls for the Purified Jaggle Pearls. And while this isn't technically a vendor flip, I do also like to flip Pygmy Suckerfish into Pygmy Oil. And since I have an alchemist just sitting around, I can just passively make potions of speed and wild magic anytime they're profitable. Moving into number 2, we have pre-farm jewel crafting quests. I'm really late to this party, but the pre-farm jewel crafting daily is one of my absolute favorite things to do now. All you have to do to take advantage of this passive gold maker is buy a bunch of the materials for the jewel crafting daily. Then, for example, when you go to kill the dark iron dwarves, you can just make the item over and over again and then stack them up infinitely. That way you could theoretically have 30 to 40 days worth of every single jewel crafting daily stocked up. Every single day you'll be getting 21 gold and one jewel crafting token. You could either flip that token into a dragon's eye for 80 to 90 gold profit or just buy some recipes. Either way, it's just such a great way to be making some gold in the open world and also doing the daily quest at the same time. And another jewel crafting daily you should be doing is the Icy Prism. Well actually I'm not doing it yet, it just isn't really that profitable right now. But when I'm making them in the next phase I'll be getting epic gems. So stocking up all the materials to make a bunch of Icy Prisms would be a really good idea right now. Another great idea would be to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and click the like button. At number 1 we have bulk material flips. If you ever watch my stream you'll always notice that I'm doing these bulk material flips right when I log in. Basically I have a different character for every type of material. I have a list of high volume items I can flip every day with low deposit fees. Some of my very favorite items to flip are things like infinite dust and northern spices. If I see an infinite dust below 1.1 gold I just buy it and I don't care if there's 2000, 5000 I'll just buy them. Then all I have to do is reprice them at 1.3, 1.4 gold and just wait for the gold to roll in. I can put the items for 48 hours since there's no deposit fee and I'm just good to go. This is just such a great way to make passive gold just logging into the game. And while material prices can ebb and flow, as long as you're doing high volume items you'll always be making money. So now you're making lots of passive gold, but now you need to get as prepped as possible for phase 3. Check out my phase 3 Wrath of the Lich King guide so you don't miss out on any key preparations. 